Good afternoon. Welcome to Beverly High School Women's Volleyball. I'm your host, Rich Francis, as usual. And with me today, a uh, special guest is uh, Nikki Aracola. My usual color man, Griffin Francis, couldn't make it. Uh, he's got some gastrointestinal distress. So uh, today we have the Panthers taking on the generals of Hamilton Wenham. Uh, Panthers uh, won their last game against Saugus. Uh, they, they beat the Sachems yesterday, uh, three to zero. Uh, so they're coming into the, this matchup with a three and five overall and three and four in conference record. Uh, so they take on uh, the Cape Ann League team, Hamilton Wenham. Hamilton Wenham is uh, five and three on the season overall. They're uh, five and one in their conference as well. The Generals uh, tend to have a, usually have a pretty good program. Uh, so, and with, the, with their record, you can see that they're, uh, they're going to be a tough one for the Panthers to take on. Panthers uh, hoping, to, uh, hoping to get back into a, uh, into a groove and, and to get some winning going on. So, Nikki, uh, welcome. Welcome <laughs> to uh, Beverly Panthers Volleyball. Yeah. Uh, so, this is Nikki's first time. So. Yes, it is. We'll we'll, uh, we'll cut her some slack. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, the Panthers taking the court. Hamilton one and taking the court. And uh, the customary handshake, high five type thing that they do. <coughs> Both teams gathering around, doing a little bit of a uh, huddle right now. Yep. All right, and so uh, tonight. Uh, during the game will be, uh, as usual, you know, BevCam likes to have their fans get to know the players a little bit. So we'll be talking about each of the, each of the girls and uh, some of their interests. Um, in honor of Chris Long offering to donate part of his NFL salary to literacy in uh, the Philadelphia area, uh, we're going to be asking the girls what their favorite books are uh, today or, or favorite literature, not just books, but some poetry. How about you, Nikki? What's your favorite author uh, or book? Well, I really like the book Wonder. It's a Wonder. great book about a little kid that um, has a disability but finds a, a lot of good friends. Uh-huh. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Now, they just recently made that a movie, correct? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's really good. All right. So, uh, starting out for the Panthers, we've got uh, Brooke Fabry. Uh, Vivian, the Flying V, Nascimento. Avery, La Presidente, Bearer. Uh, in the back row, uh, Fabry to start with serve. <coughs> but Fabry known as the Queen of Aces. And that's a nice little start for the Panthers, getting the, uh, getting the point on that one. In the front row, we've got uh, senior captain Kate Mulligan, uh, Julia Aracola, and uh, Alice Malcara. Fabry to serve. Good deep serve. Tough. Ooh. Okay, so Penz has got a chance to get a good swing here. Barrow with a set to middle hitter Mulligan. Okay, Hamilton having a little bit of trouble uh, passing the ball, but they got the point on that one. So, uh, we got a 1-1 score now. Now serving for uh, Hamilton Wenham as uh, Easton, uh, one, one of the captains of the team. A little short serve, dropped it in front of Aracola for the point. All right, so Hamilton Wenham is up 2-1. to one. Now, Easton is a junior, but she's one of the captains on this team. And she'll serve that one into the net. Panthers tie it up with the side out. Got a 2-2 score. All right. Into the game is senior captain Sophie McGarrigal. Served by Malkar, and someone got the net. Okay, Hamilton winning with the net on that. Point to the Panthers. All right, so... Uh, McGarrigal came in for Fabry. Malkara to serve. 
tough serve. Oh, and then it runs over. They played it. Okay, get the ball to Barra. Barra shooting outside to Eric Kohler with a little drop, and that's out of bounds. 3 3. All right, and coming into the game now is uh, number eight. Uh, we don't have that one written down, it seems. We had to go on uh, online to get the roster for Hamilton to run it. Barra with a nice serve rate, the set right there to Mulligan with a good swing. They dug it up, though. Free ball coming over. That's Manta with the pass. Barra, Barra is shooting over to Mulligan with the little one-legger. Another free ball coming over. Oh, Okara couldn't get to it. Tough play right there. That's actually a nice shot off of a difficult play. All right, now serving for Hamilton, and that one's going to drop. McGarrigal couldn't get to it. And served by uh, another one of the captains on the team, uh, Rosepka, a senior captain on the team. She's a defensive specialist. <coughs> we didn't get any first names on their roster, just last names. Barrett couldn't make the save. Tough pass by Eric Kohler. Avery tried to get over there, but she couldn't get to it in time. All right, so Hamilton Wenham now up six to three as the uh, tide has turned very quickly. Will drop McGarrett go with the pass to Barra. Barra going back set to Mulligan. Mulligan going deep. All right, look for I think that one's going to drop. All right, four serving six. Julia Aracola to serve. Eric Cole with the serve. Nice line drive serve. That's going to see a free ball coming over. Mulligan swing. They dug that one up. Another free ball. Melcaro the pass to Barra. Barra going, shooting over to Nascimento. He's going out. Man, that one's all right. The Libro uh, tried to get that ball. Looked like it was going out. But Nascimento with the point. Panthers down 5-6 now. Eric Cola to serve. And can't get that one over the net. Okay, so we've got a 7-5 game. The Generals with the lead. All right. And we got a substitution going on. Garcia in the game. All right, tough, tough one. Okay, Avery trying to make a play, and they couldn't do anything with that one. All right, so General's up 8-5 to five right now. <laughs> tough uh, little let serve there. Barra going over. Nascimento just getting the ball over. Shooting to the outside. Aricola with a nice dig on that. Going over to Nascimento. Nascimento going corner. And that ball's out. It's a good idea. I like that idea, using the lines on that. Um, a lot of times the, the outside hitters often go with an angle shot. So we like to see the, you know, take a shot out. All right, 9-5, Generals. Barra having to save it, and she's into the net. All right, they're having to tough. They're not, they're not getting the passes to uh, Avery right now. Making her work a little too much. Yeah, that one's in the net. <clears throat> so the Panthers get the ball back. Now serving, Kate Mulligan. Favory back into the game. Uh, and McGarrigal comes out. All right, Kate is uh, just the other day took over the team lead in aces. She went on a good run uh, a couple games ago. Brooke Fabry was the team leader in aces. That's where she earned the nickname the Queen of Aces. And Kate also is the leader in uh, kills on the team. And that's a let serve. That goes down as a point, and that would be an ace for Kate. All right, so 7-10. Panthers down. Yeah. 
And that one's going to be out. All right, so the generals get the ball back. Now serving for uh, the Generals, Flynn. Uh, that one's in the net. Now Flynn, uh, what we see on the roster, she's a freshman. So we don't see many freshmen playing at the varsity level at the bigger schools. The smaller schools tend to have that. All right, Avery Barrett to serve now. Panthers down 8-11. Avery with the jump serve. Floats that one over, and good chance at a swing. Now some mental with the pass, and everybody kind of stands around watching that one. That has been a bit of a bugaboo for the Panthers. A little lack of communication. And uh, a lot of, they've, they've let a lot of balls drop in front of them on, on balls that are somewhat playable. In the last two games, they had some issues with their serving as well. All right. Aricola with the pass. Favory with the set on that. On the bearer. A little roll. Pass to Barrer. Barrer is going to shoot out into the middle to Favory. Favory with the swing. That ball's going to come up. Kind of looked like it went around went around the antenna there. Good call. All right, so the Panthers get it back. Nascimento now to serve. Vivian played, uh, Vivian uh, got a player of the game yesterday uh, against um, Saugus. She played very well. And, and one of her only starts of the year. She's getting another start. And that's a little campfire there that's going to see the ball drop. So Nascimento uh, is getting the start now, uh, it seems, with Ella Spidell out with a knee injury. Uh, Ella's going in for an MRI next week, we're told. Uh, they think it may be a meniscus issue. Let's hope it's not too serious. Now, Samantha with the serve. And another free ball coming over. All right, Malcar with the pass. Barrow with the set over to Fabry. Getting it over. And shooting it to the outside. Swing going to get dug up by McGarrigal. Barrow going to shoot outside to Eric Cola. It's a good swing. And that ball's going to be a point. That's a kill for Julia. And we'll get ourselves a timeout here with the Generals leading 12 to 11. So, Nikki, what do you think so far? How are you, how, how you liking it? Love it. It's great. They're doing pretty good. Um, pretty close score, which yeah. is great. Yeah. Keep it close, right? And then, yes. and then see what happens. Make the other team uh, make the errors. Yes. Which they are doing right now. Uh, Hamilton. Hamilton's not really passing the ball very well. They're not getting a, a lot of good swings which has been a hallmark of uh, Hamilton winning volleyball is the ability to get good swings. But Panthers, uh, when they have the chance to serve, uh, have been serving deep and forcing their back row players to, to make something happen. All right, so we see uh, Coach Pam Padovani, Coach Ashley Chalifor, and Coach Yvonne Rep uh, talking to the girls. And a little strategy, a little bit of uh, pep talk, trying to keep them focused. All right, so Panthers to serve. Nascimento to serve again. Panthers down 11-12. Nascimento with the hard serve, and that's an ace for the flying V. All right, so we got ourselves a 12-12 ball game. All right, Panthers with a chance to take the lead since they had a 1-0 lead to start the game. And they're going to lose the lead there as the ball goes out of bounds. So the Panthers go up 13 to 12. Into the game now, one of the captains, Brown, in for Garcia, as well as Manning in for Day. All right. So Brown to serve. Pass by Eric Cola to Barra. Barra back out to Eric Cola, going deep with that one. <clears throat> that ball's going to be out. All right, so Hamilton Wyndham's up 14 to 12 now. One of the things that we've seen with the Panthers is that they uh, 
they tend to play to the level of their competition. When they play the better teams, they actually play well. Um, even though, oh, nice play, nice save by Bearer. Oh, Drop that one nice, okay, they got a chance to make something happen here. Nice, Nascimento coming up forward on that. Not the point, point for the uh, Panthers there, nice play. Ball looked like it was going out, Bearer stuck it, ran after it, stuck her arm out, got it to McGarrigal, then uh, popped it over. I don't think Hamilton went and was ready for that, so they didn't get much of a chance to do anything. All right, Fabry serving. Panthers down 13 to 14. All right, they got a chance for a swing here. Going middle. Oh, and it's Joust. And point to the Panthers. They tie it up again. 14 14. So, as I was saying, the uh, Panthers have, uh, when they've played lesser teams, they've kind of played down to that level. When they play good teams, even though they haven't won against a couple of those good teams, they've played well. All right, Favor is a tough serve. Another. Kind of a, well, not a free ball, but not much of an attack. All right, Mulligan over the net. Hamilton with a chance, to another swing. That one's, ooh, that's going to drop in on the corner. Okay, so they're questioning it. Right, the head judge calling it out. Uh, I think they thought that the line judge there called it in, but. All right, what do we got? Okay, so they're going to award the point to Hamilton Wenham. Hamilton Wenham's ball serving 15-14. And that one's out. Yep, point for the Panthers. Okay, now we're 15-15. All right, Malcara to serve. Alice, the Italian exchange student. All right, she gets that over. Another free ball coming. That one's in the net. Now, the, I, I'll say this, the, the Panthers are playing well. They're digging up a, a lot, and they're making Hamilton uh, off, they're putting him off balance. But Hamilton Wenham is just not playing so great right now. Uh, Malcara serves that one into the net. And we've got a 16-16 score. All right, Hamilton with the serve. It's a low serve, tough serve right there. That one had a little drop. That was a uh, Wospka, Wos or I guess her name is. One of the captains. Senior passing it, and that ball's going to come over. And that one's going to go over. Kind of looking like a backyard barbecue right now. Oh, Kate with a block. No, oh, but it drops. All right, so Hamilton went and takes a two-point lead up 18 to 16. Senior captain to serve. Oh, Kate mishandles that one. All right, now it's 19-16. Chris Padovani is going to get a timeout. All right, so with the timeout, Panthers down three points, 16-19. And uh, when we come back, Hamilton win and will be uh, serving. All right, so as part of our Get to Know Them segment, uh, we asked the girls, uh, who are your favorite authors or favorite books? Uh, so uh, they had some uh, pretty interesting books out there. So um, Emma Bakary said she's a big fan of the Gossip Girls series. Um, hopefully she knew I meant books and not television show. But uh, uh, So as we look over to the crowd, as you can see, uh, we've got a lot of the Beverly parents here today. Uh, and we've also got uh, an alumnus, uh, Brianna Snow, who was uh, one of the team captains. She was the libero on the team last year. Uh, also, if you notice in the stands, we see Cara McGarrigal, Sophie's mom, who has missed the last few games with, uh, after having a surgery. It's good to see her back, back and uh, up and around. Uh, hopefully that'll give the girls a little bit of inspiration. All right, so now as we come out of the timeout, uh, the general is serving with the 1916 score in game one of a best of five match. Garrigal with the pass. That one's going to go over. Oh, nice up by Kane on that. Oh, a little drop. Nice play by Eric Kohler. Digging that up, getting down. Kate with the roll over. And we're going to have another free ball. 
All right, Hamilton Wenham giving up two opportunities. Do something big. Kate with a big swing. They dug that up. They read that. On back row attack into the net. So that play right there, both teams kind of just giving up some opportunities. Uh, I think Hamilton Wenham actually had a couple opportunities to pass it and sit past that hit, and, and they didn't. They just kind of put the ball over. All right, Eric Kohler to serve, 17-19. She's going to drop that down in front of her. Another ace for Julia. First ace, anyway. Nice ace. Panthers down by a point, 18-19 now. All right, she floats that one over. Tough pass coming over. They dig that one up. Another one. Yeah, okay, they got a chance to make a play here. Nice set to Mulligan with the swing. They dig that one up. Nice play by the Libero. And the point. I think that was Barrow with the kill on that one, right? All right. Avery with the kill. Generally don't see the setter's kill, but the way uh, the offense that they play, they play a 5-1 offense, so the uh, setter has to play up front and gets a chance to take some swings. 19-19. Eric Cole with a deep serve. Tough play. Another free ball coming. Okay, McGarrigal with the pass. Barrer going to Kate Mulligan. The swing and that ball is into the net. I don't know. I think they might have given her a block on that, but that ball didn't. Uh, I don't think that ball actually made it over the net. All right, Hamilton won him up 20-19. Tough serve right there, but Nericola digs that up, going out to Nascimento. Nascimento with a little cut shot. All right, got a chance, not going to get a swing there. Walcara to Barra, Barra going to Mulligan. Mulligan with a little drop. Get up, Barra going to the swing right there. Well, that one's going to drop. All right, so Panthers tie it up 20 to 20. Brooke Favory to come into the game now from McGarrigal. Okay, Mulligan to serve. Game all tied up at 20. Ooh, Kate into the net on that one. Toss on that looked a little low. It's a little bit low. Just a little. Game of inches. All right, Panthers to serve. Flynn, the freshman, serving with the 21-20 lead. Nascimento with the pass to Barra. Nice pass. Going out to Nascimento with a swing, deep swing. Make the Libro make a play. And another free ball coming. Malcaro with the pass. Barra going. Fabry. Ooh, what do we got? Ooh. Called that a carry. I don't know who they called that one on, but uh, it must have been on Fabry. It did not look like a carry. It looked like a good swing. All right, Panthers up 22 to 20. Uh, Panthers down 20 to 22. Flynn with the serve. Nascimento with the pass to Barra. Barra going out to Nascimento. Deep set. That ball's going to drop for a kill for Vivian. All right, Avery Barra to serve. 21 22. Barra going to attempt to jump serve here. Good hard serve right there. Not gonna, another one back row. They're gonna try to roll that one over. Pass by Fabry. Fra uh, Barry out to Malkara. And we're gonna call Alice for coming under the net. That was a little tight on the set. It was the right location on the set. That was just uh, a little tight. All right, Padovani is gonna call a timeout now. All right, so uh, during this time out, let us uh, get to know the girls a little bit more. Uh, again, uh, in our attempt to boost literacy throughout the city of Beverly, uh, we're trying to promote books and, and reading. I'm sure the Beverly Public Library would be glad to hear that, but uh, I'm going to guess they're not watching right now, but you never know. Uh, we, we've been getting pretty good ratings, and uh, if people hear that, Nikki, uh, you're going to be doing games with us some more, yeah. they might start watching, so. Uh, so, uh, Natalia Francis, uh, when I asked her what her favorite uh, book was, she said she's reading a book by Jim Hankins, or James Hankins, uh, A Blood Thing. Uh, 
Now, Hankins is actually a friend of mine, but he, uh, his, uh, my, my favorite book of his is uh, his book, Drawn. He, uh, he, he writes different genres, mostly thriller types, but uh, uh, Jim's a pretty good up-and-coming writer. You can get his e-books on Amazon. All right, so the Libero to serve, uh, Belial, to serve with the Generals leading by two, 23-21. All right, pass to Barra. Barra going to shoot outside to Malkara. Malkara coming across court with that. They're going to uh, go deep on the hit there. And the Panthers going to get the side out. All right, it's a one-point game. Vivian Nascimento to serve here. Vivian's got uh, two kills so far today and an ace. Hopefully she can pick up a, maybe a couple more aces here. All right, good tough serve right there. Then, okay, not going to get much. Oh, a little two-handed dropper. Going over to Melkara, coming on the other side. That ball's down in the corner. Nice swing. And Melkara has been playing both sides offensively. So uh, you never know what you're gonna, where you're going to see her. So she, uh, she actually started the season on the right side with uh, when Spidell was on the left. All right, the serve by Nascimento. Ooh, that one's in the net. That's not a block. All right, All right Panthers up 24-23. Set, set point here. And the uh, general's going to get a timeout here. All right, so as I said, uh, Malkara, she, uh, she can play either side, which is great to have that kind of versatility. Now, usually most of the time on the right side, you like to have a left-handed hitter. You want your swinging hand uh, kind of on the inside, but uh, it doesn't seem like the Panthers have any lefties over there. When I played, I, I, li I preferred the right-hand side being a lefty like I am, which also works well when you have a lot of right-handed people because mm -hmm. then you get to play there. Yep. Now, Nikki, you're a, you're a basketball player, your father tells me. Yes, I uh, am. And you guys, uh, you guys were pretty good last year too, right? Yeah. Tell, tell, us, about, uh, tell us about the team and uh, what you guys did last year. Um, well, for travel, we won our last tournament that we were in. Uh -huh. And uh, we did pretty good. Yeah, love the travel. It's one of my favorite things. Now, you are in eighth grade? Yes, okay. eighth grade. So now you're in the new middle school. I am. And how are you liking it? I love it. Yeah. It's awesome. It's a little, little bit different than uh, the Briscoe school? Yes, big difference. So you go from uh, essentially what seemed like a prison to... Uh, to a school. Yeah. That's always nice. It is. All right, coming out of the timeout, Vivian Nascimento to serve with the chance to, to take the first set. Panthers lead 24-23. Nascimento with the serve, going deep. They're going to have trouble with that. It's going to be looking at a free ball coming over. Malcaro with the pass to Barra. Barra going over to Ellis. Ooh. Oh. Boy. We're going to call that a double hit on the set. Yeah, that, um, it, it's interesting, really, from what I've seen this year. It depends on who your referee is, uh, whether that's going to get called or not. That's unfortunate. All right, we've got 24-24. Pop shot over to McGonagall. Oh, Avery wins that joust, but the ball's still going. Ball coming over. Garrigo with the pass to Barra. Barra going over to Malkara. And she tries to cut it, but it goes into the net. All right, so now Hamilton Wenham's got set point here. An opportunity for Hamilton Wenham to uh, score and take the game. All right, Malkara uh, favor the pass to Barra. Barra saving that, pulling that out. That's going to get blocked. Malkara gets blocked. And now Hamilton Wenham gives it back. All right, 25-25. All right, so now we've got Burt Fabry to serve. Burt has been their most consistent server during the season. Although the last couple of games, uh, she slipped a little bit. But that one's nice and consistent. We like that. Give him trouble. Not going to get another free ball coming over. Panthers got a chance to do something. Malkara with the pass to, okay, now it's going to Mulligan with a nice kill. And we call those a Katie kill right there. All right. Panthers with a chance to, to take this one. Fabry to serve. Fabry serving 26 to 25. Okay, going deep with it. 
Oh, that was a good pass right there. Oh, they're coming over. Free ball. Okay, Bear over. Makar is going to roll that one over. Going to drop it. Okay, the setter's got a nice opportunity. Not a great set, though. Ericola with the pass. Barra going to Mulligan. Mulligan with a little drop. Oh, nice dig right there. Another free ball coming over. Panthers with a chance. Okay, Makara to Barra. Barra to Mulligan with a the swing. They get a piece of it. All right, going to have a free ball. That, oh, it drops. Oh, oh, it's a lift. Yeah, they call it a lift. Yeah, that one was a lift, I'd say. Um, open hand with it. So you kind of... Uh, we don't have the visuals where I can show you. I'm trying to use my hands right now, but you can't see what I'm doing. All right, 26-26. Panthers looking to side out. Okay, and Ericola with a good swing from the back row. Got to get up there and block that. Nice play by Julia. Woo, Ericola. Nice All right, I don't know if we're calling that one a block or a kill. I'm going to give her a kill on that just because I don't have a column on my sheet for blocks. All right, so Alice Melkara to serve, 27-26. Another set point. Melkara floats that over. Pass coming, going middle. Kate with the block, and they win the game! Big win for the Panthers right there. Nice win. Nice win. That's a great job by the uh, Panthers, fighting, not letting anything. Uh, they, they dug up a lot. And they kept Hamilton Wenham on their heels. Hamilton Wenham didn't, uh, didn't get a lot of good swings. And so uh, it made it a little bit easier defensively for the Panthers to, uh, to receive the balls coming over. All right, so we're going to take a break here from the action. Uh, with about, uh, about two, almost three minutes uh, for the, uh, as they switch sides. Uh, while we do that, we're going to uh, talk a little bit about some of the happenings around town. I, I you know, I have to say, uh, Nikki. Now, Nikki, you live over in the Centerville region. Area, I do. Right? Um, so, you, do you, so do you drive down Essex Street? Do you have to encounter any of the rotaries? Uh, yes. Okay. So I've noticed that with the rotaries, I know a lot of people were wondering what, what's going on in the city with all the rotaries. Have you noticed it? Do you think it's made a difference? Um, I really think it has because um, the one on exit 18 is actually pretty good. Yeah. I like it. So, yeah. yeah. I have to agree with that. I mean, I use exit 18 uh, to go to work every day. Um, and I've noticed that um, it, it makes the traffic flow a whole lot easier. It does. Uh, so uh, kudos to our um, city planners uh, for that one. And I also think the one over on Brimble Ave is really kind of uh, made things a little bit better. Um, I know the, S on, uh, the the one by exit 18 on Essex Street, uh, you know, it kind of took a tragedy to make a change to everything. But I think it's worked out pretty well. And what I've seen is most people in Massachusetts seem to know how to drive on rotaries. On occasion, you get, you know, you get a guy who doesn't really know what he's doing. But I will say this. People in Revere have no idea how rotaries work. Um, it, it's like, it's like uh, Mad Max or you know, Death Race 2000 uh, when you drive on the rotaries over there. Uh, you know, I grew up in Gloucester where we had a couple of rotaries, and, you know, it was, uh, most of the people down there tend to know what they're doing. It's usually when you get people from the western part of the state or out of state that they don't really know what they're doing. But I think people have kind of taken to the ones here in Beverly. Yeah. Um, which also brings us to the, the debate over whether they're rotaries or roundabouts. Um, mm. You know, and... Uh, if you live in, in Massachusetts, at least in Eastern Mass, they're rotaries. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so, But I do know that a lot of people had were worried about that stuff. Traffic circle, as uh, Robert tells us, is, is another thing. Uh, it depends. Uh, I think if you're on Waze or Google Maps, they, they tell you roundabouts or something like that. Mm -hmm. But we have our own language here in the Northeast. We do. Right? It's a frap, not a milkshake. <laughs> it, it is a problem. <laughs> it is a problem for everybody else. And it's a bubbler or a bubbler, not a water fountain. <laughs> well, when you move to a different place, you know, it's like moving to a different country. You got to figure out the language there. Moving to Massachusetts, you got to figure out the language. All right, so uh, the generals to serve with the Panthers up one nothing on the game. Uh, not quite as we're. 
figuring out the substitution situation. All right, here we go. Game two. Hamilton went in to serve. Oh, McGarrigo going to get to it. Oh, wait, we got a little back. Oh. All right, so uh, on occasion, the uh, ball will get caught up in the basketball hoops. Uh, you know, these are multi-purpose gyms. They're not made for just one single sport. Um, Avery tried to go over. She didn't know where her teammates were going to be. All right, Hamilton Wenham serving with a 1-0 lead. Barrow rolling it over. All right, so Hamilton Wenham got a chance. Okay, so they called a carry earlier on Avery for a, a, a set, and that was kind of a deep dish set that I thought. Okay, so Hamilton Wenham gets the, the two points. I actually thought that was kind of a, what, what's called a deep dish kind of uh, deep dish set kind of held it a little too long in the hands, but they're going to let that go. All right, two nothing generals. McGarrett go with the pass to Barra. Barra going to shoot it out to Ericola. Ericola with a little drop. Oh, they did dig it up. All right, Panthers got a chance to do something. Oh, that's a, ooh. I think they're going to say okay. They're going to say Avery went into the net on that one. It was a tough pass, so she had to do whatever she could on that. All right. Generals serving 3-0 now. Agarra go with the pass to Barra. Barra going out to Ericola again. Ericola with the swing. They dig that one up. That ball's coming over. All right, they're going to make a pass off of that. Makara with a good swing right there. Another roll shot. Okay. Barra going to go out to Malkara deep. And Malkara's going to go a little deep with that. And... Chance for a swing. The freshman with the dead, with the big swing right there. All right, so we were talking about uh, you don't see many freshmen uh, uh, get a chance to swing, but that uh, that was a pretty good swing though. Actually, I'm sorry, was that? Oh, I got that one wrong. That was Day, I think. I think. No, it was that Flynn. No, that was Flynn. Oh. All right, they're gonna call that a double hit. All right, Coach Padovani. No, nope, she's not going to call a timeout. She's going to do a little talk, tell them to loosen up. All right, General's up 5 nothing, Five straight points. All right, McGarrett go with the pass. Going to Nascimento. Nascimento going to Eric Cole. Eric Cole is going to roll that deep. All right, General's with a chance for a swing. Flynn, she gets blocked. Nice try by Fabry. That's going to go out. All right. Hamilton went in with a 6-0 lead right now. Panthers uh, looking to get on the board here. They've got to side out. They've got to get the ball back. A little bit different than the first game. Magara go with the pass. Alcar is going to pass, and it's going to be... Eight. Okay, so Hamilton went up 7-0. All right, coach decided to hold on to that timeout. Panthers just got to make a good pass here. All right, that ball's going to go deep or wait for Hamilton Wenham to serve it out of bounds. That makes life a whole lot easier when the other team uh, makes a bad serve. Isn't that true, yeah. Nikki? All right, now serving Brooke Fabry, the queen of aces, to serve. Panthers down 1-7, 1-7. Avery was a good serve. That's a tough serve. And they're not going to be able to do anything with that. <coughs> and that's why they call her the queen of aces, because she uh, makes those tough serves like that. All right, Panthers down five points right now. Fabry to serve. It's interesting to watch the pre-serve rituals that they always it have. It is. That's an ace for the queen. All right. Bow down to the queen, the queen of aces. All right, Fabry to serve again. Everyone's got a different ritual when they, uh, when they, they serve. They do. I came back, that actually hurt Fabry uh, a few games ago. And as she serves it into the net, she, uh, she was doing a little ritual, and the ball bounced off her foot. Yes. And then uh, she got called for a delay of game penalty, and they lost the point. All right, so Hamilton went him to serve. Leading by five, eight to three. As we said before, the Generals are in the Cape Ann League, even though they're in the town 
just over, uh, yeah, just over the border. All right, ooh, that one's gonna drop. That's an ace. That was a bit of a knuckler. I got it, you got it, and it dropped. Call that one a husband-wife when it drops between two. All right, 9-3, Hamilton Wenham. And another ace. All right, Panthers having a little trouble with the serves. Okay, coming into the game is Natalia Francis. Francis coming in for Nascimento. She's got to get her uh, sleeves on. For some reason, she didn't have her sleeves on, but, uh, but she does now. She's ready to make a play. And Nericola gets it over. Okay, Generals with a chance to get a swing. Flynn with the swing and the block nice there block. by Mulligan. Nice block. And that one's not going to go over. That's a nice block by uh, Kate. Beverly's ball. Panthers down by six points right now. Alice Mulcara to serve. Mulcara, nice serve. Okay. Geno's got a chance to do something. Gets a nice set. It looks like Flynn's their big hitter. She's the one they uh, seem to be going to a lot. All right. Barra's going to roll that one deep. It's a good spot. Go deep with it. Okay, going to Flynn again. She's a swinger. And that one's going to go through. I think you're going to have to get a block on it. Man, we're going to get a timeout for the Panthers. Padovani has seen enough. All right, so the Panthers down 11-4 to right now. Um, after the 7-0 start. So since that bad start, it's been an even game. Okay, so back as we get to our um, get to know them section. Uh, Vivian Nascimento, her, her book is uh, by the uh, local author Michael Tells. Uh, his book, A Night Heron. Tells is also a musician uh, who goes by the name A Night Heron. That is his band. He's a friend of mine. Um, Interestingly enough, uh, Vivian uh, uh, reads his stuff, uh, which is, you know, kind of funny because nobody actually reads his stuff. So <laughs> nobody listens to his music either, but that's okay. He's an interesting character. All right, so the Panthers down by seven points right now, looking to get things back together. Padovani talking to the team. Uh, right now you see uh, coach, uh, assistant coach Yvonne Rep uh, giving them a, a talk about where to be, what to do. Um, so... Uh, you know, we'll see um, Ashley Chalifor also getting in there. And you can see over there in the purple, you can see uh, Ella Spidell uh, in the knee brace. That, that's a tough loss. Ella, Ella's a big part of the team. She's a big hitter. But she is a junior. Um, hopefully she'll be able to get back towards the end of the season. Uh, looking at that brace, uh, I, I, I think that might be a little too optimistic. But we'll have to see. Uh, see what the doctors tell her. All right. Now into the game is uh, Garcia. In for Brown. All right, that's the serve. Okay, McGarrigo getting it. Oh, nice save. Nice oh, play save. by Alice Malkara. All right, they're going to go out to Flynn again. And that's going to be into the net or a block. I don't know. They call that block? No, that's four hits, they said. Four hits. Okay, so that ball went into the net. Great play by Alice Malkara right there. Um, if they can come back and win this game, I'd say that might end up being the play of the match. All right, so Francis is out. Um, Nascimento back in the game. Nascimento going up to the front. All right, so that ball is going to go line. Oh, they give her the point. Caught line. Caught line on that one. All right, Ericola with the uh, another ace for Julia. You know, I probably say this at least once a game, but Julia has really um, been very consistent for the team and uh, a, a nice surprise for the team. All right, so Panthers get a chance to swing, go in middle. They dig that up by Malkara, going to Kate Mulligan. Kate with a big swing, and they dig that one up. That's going to drop, and they're not going to get to it. Okay, Kate getting a kill on that one. All right, Panthers down by four. Ericola to serve, 7-11 to 11 right now. So the Panthers are uh, going to get a free ball here. It's going to come over. McGarrigal to Barra. Barra going to Mulligan. Mulligan, the big swing. Another kill. Like to see Kate take the big swing uh, when she gets that chance. All right. Now it's a three point game. Set. Three point set. 
Again, Nikki, they call them sets. They don't call them games for yes. some reason. All right, Eric Ola going deep, making them work for it. All right, going to go outside. A little pop to Nascimento. Nascimento to Barra. Barra to Mulligan with the drop. Oh, nice oh. up right there. Oh, it's going to come over. All right, kick to the swing. Okay, they're going to dig it up. That's some nice play right there. Another free ball. Malcaro with the pass to Barra. Barra going outside Nascimento with the drop. Okay, he was, oh, someone's getting net on that. I didn't feel like calling that, I guess. Malcaro with the pass to Barra. Barra going outside to Mulligan. Mulligan with the swing. They right, dig that one up. Another drop. Oh, and they're going to get the point. Now, if you notice there, Melcari went for the foot. You can use your feet nowadays. Back in the old days, you couldn't use anything essentially below your waist. But now you can use any part of your body That's on, any, heard, on any kind of a play. Like I said, the old timers don't like that stuff. But All right, it's 12 to 8, Generals. Ooh, another husband and wife right there as they looked at each other. All right, 13-8, Generals. Panthers got to get the ball back. Let their servers do the job. Alcaro with the pass to Barra, going to Mulligan. Mulligan with the swing, she gets blocked, she digs it, but no, it's going to drop. All right, so that's a nice block right there. That said, only gave uh, Kate one, one location, really, to take her swing, and they, they read it well. Thought it looked like it was going to go down, but they, they picked it up pretty well. 14-8, uh, General, excuse me. That ball is a low one, and it's going to drop. It's not always how you plan it, but sometimes it works. All right, Fabry coming in for McGarrigal. All right, Panthers down by five. Kate Mulligan to serve. Mulligan, a nice hard serve right there. And a chance to shoot it to the outside. Nothing but a drop, and they had that covered. Barrow was there. Fabry to Malkara. Malkara gets it. Okay, they're going to be digging, and that ball is going to fall. All right, that's a nice play right there. Avery Barrow right in the right spot. They tried to dink it over the block, but she was right there covering that. That's good positioning right there. They had a little bit of problems with that earlier in the season. Uh, I think Coach finally has them being where they're supposed to be. All right, Panthers down 10, serving four. Kate with a good serve, and that ball's going to go up and over. Barra with a set over to Nascimento, who's going to go cross court. They're going to dig that up. And they're going to go swing it from the outside. All right, they dig that one up. Nascimento with a pass uh, over the set, over to Fabry. Free ball. All right, another free ball coming. All right, so Mulligan to Barra. Barra to Nascimento going, oh, she gets blocked, but that ball goes over. All right, they're rolling it. Okay, it's still good. Got to play. And that hit the uh, scoreboard, and it's going to drop. Hit the scoreboard and went over in the net. If that ball stays on the Panther side, they'd be able to keep on playing it. Yeah. Yep. All right, uh, Generals to, to serve with a 15 to 10 lead. All right, Eric Cole with the pass. Going to go to Malcaro, over to Nascimento with a roll shot there. All right, got another good chance for the Panthers to do something with the free ball. Pass to Barra. Barra going over to Nascimento, a little too tight. That ball wasn't actually, um, I don't know. The ball didn't look like it was over yet. All right, but I think they called uh, net on that one. All right, so uh, Hamilton went him to serve 16 to 10. All right, going deep and out. Good eye right there. Good call by the bench Good right call. there. They got the, that's why you got to have the bench that's actually paying attention. That was, that was nice. If they were all talking and everything, they wouldn't have seen that. And there are some talkers over in that bench. That's for sure. All right, Avery Barrett to serve. A little jump serve. Oh, foot fault. Stepped on the line. Unforced errors. That kind of stuff uh, will make your coach mad. All right, generals to serve. 17-11. Brown, one of the uh, senior captains on the team to serve. 
And that one's going to go to Fabry. Fabry to Bearer. A little miscommunication there. That's a tough one because uh, Bearer has to come from way over to the other side. We get a timeout by the Panthers. We got an 18 to 11 score right now. Uh, Hamilton just ran a couple points off. All right, so uh, during this timeout, we're going to do a little bit more with our get to know them section. Uh, so the the students, uh, the 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 players, we asked them what their favorite book was, and uh, Angel Deschamps, who uh, I don't actually see over there uh, today. Maybe she might Ooh, be, but see I, her. Yeah, I, I think I might be screened. Um, by Coach Yvonne Rep, I'm not sure. Uh, but Angel, uh, her favorite book is The Book Thief, uh, who uh, a, a book that uh, Coach Padovani also seems to really like. She said it was a great book herself. I have not read that. Um, most of my books are of the uh, nonfiction variety. Uh, I tend to read books about international relations and history. Essentially, that's what I do for work. So... Um, so I don't uh, always get a chance to read these non uh, these fiction books. So, all right. So uh, generals to serve with an 18 to 11 lead. McGarrigo with the pass. Barra shooting it over to uh, Malkara. Malkara, a little cut shot there. All right, got a chance to shoot to the outside. Not, kind of a freebie there. Not a real attack. Uh, Nascimento going deep on that one, forcing him to make a play. And we're going to get another free ball here. McGarrigal to Barra. Barra going to go, oh, again with the double hit. I, I got to tell you, you know, I mean, I, I know years ago that kind of set was illegal. But uh, like I said, that's the first time I've seen those those particular kind of sets being called as illegal. Hamilton Wyndham has served 19 to 11. Out to Malkara. Malkara, the big swing, and they dig it up. Hamilton Wedham with a little drop. Nascimento right there. Barra going to Nascimento. Vivian with the swing going deep. Another free ball coming. Oh, well, we got a good swing there. All right. And we got a joust. And Hamilton Wedham wins that joust. Now, if that wasn't on the third hit, they could have said that um, she came over and, and took the, the set away, but it was on the third hit, so that's considered an attack. You can come over the net on an attack. All right, 20 to 11, Hamilton Wenham. Well, the car with the pass. Oh, she shanks that one a bit, but they get a chance to make a play. Okay, Nascimento going over. They're going to shoot that ball outside, get a chance to swing. Nascimento right in the right place at the right time, but a little too tight to the net. All right, Hamilton went with a 21 to 11 lead. <coughs> Liv Thomas coming into the game for Brooke Fabry. I think they're looking for uh, Olivia's height advantage. You know, she's, uh, she's a middle hitter, middle blocker. All right, so pass to... Uh, to Barrer going out to Malkara with a little cut. They're going to dig that one up. Okay, Thomas uh, setting that one, uh, pushing that one over. Oh, and they're going to call that a double, double hit on the set. Like I said, you know, I, earlier in the season, I, I was wondering why they weren't calling that kind of stuff, but now they are calling it. But kind of a little inconsistent. Mm -hmm. Panthers down nine. That one's in the net. Yeah, that's a point to the Panthers. As I said, a lot has changed in the game in the last 20 years or so, uh, bringing in positions like the Libero and a whole bunch of other stuff. Again, the Libero, uh, there's controversy over how to pronounce it. And the ball's going to be in. That's a point. That's a point and the ace for Nascimento. All right. Panthers down seven now, 20, 14 to 21. Flying V, Vivian Nascimento to serve. And that one's going to be a let. That's good. Okay, Ooh, that's not going to work so well. All right, so another point for Nascimento. As Hamilton Wenham's going to make a quick change. Out is Day, in is Manning. All right, Panthers with the chance to uh, cut the lead down a little bit here. 
Asamento, a nice deep serve there. Nice pass, though. I'm going to shoot outside. Now the, oh, that's a nice little roll. The Panthers were back on their heels. I thought it looked like she was going to take a big swing, but then she just kind of rolled it over. Rolled it right in front of uh, McGarrigal. All right, Generals to serve 22 to 15. Garrigal pass to Barra. Barra going over to Eric Cole. Eric Cole going deep with that. All right, another opportunity. Oh, it's going to be a swing. Flynn with the big swing. They dig that up. Barra going back set. Oh, again. All right, so it looks like they're not going to let Avery uh, do any back sets. Uh, so they're, they're going to take, uh, they're going to be sticklers on that one. All right, so 23-15. Uh, Asimento with the pass. Barra going over to Thomas, who's going to just pop that over. All right. Generals with the swing by Flynn. They got a, oh, Magaro got her arm on it. Kind of looked like Sophie was afraid of punching uh, Vivian in the face there. Uh, so she didn't get her arm out as quick. All right, so we got a set point here. 24-15, Hamilton went in to serve. Garrigo with the pass to Barra. Nice pass. Going over to Eric Cola. Going deep on that one. Generals with a chance to swing. Flynn with the swing. They dig that one up. Barra going to get the set back. Going over to Eric Cola into the net. All right, so that's going to be game two to the uh, Generals. So after two games, we're all tied up one to one. And so I'm going to take a quick break here. And uh, got about a three-minute break here as the two teams switch sides. So, Nikki, uh, do, you, do you play any sports other than um, I play softball. Softball. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. That's only in the spring, so I play basketball all year round. Around. Well, you know, they, they say the coaches, uh, you know, high school coaches, uh, college coaches, they like multi-sport athletes. They don't, they, you know, they... If you can play more than one sport, it shows that you're an athlete. And coaches want athletes. Yes. Speaking of coaches, uh, I want to give a shout out to a teacher here at Beverly High School and a coach uh, in, in the system. Uh, he's coached in a number of places. I want to say hey to Ben Goodhue. Uh, ben is a health and phys ed teacher here at uh, Beverly High School. I just figured I'd say hi to him. Uh, I know he. Uh, uh, he uh, had my daughter uh, as a student, and he uh, currently has my son as a student. Unfortunately for them, uh, because I've known Mr. Goodhue for so long, um, you know, I've pretty much told him, you know, don't let them get away with anything. So, uh, yes. you know, so he, uh, he, knows, he knows he can put them in their place, which most teachers should be able to do. Speaking of that, as we were looking at the, uh, Looking at the books that everybody reads, uh, Avery Barra, actually, uh, she says she's been reading the book The Coddling of the American Mind by George Lukianoff, uh, a book that has pretty much said that uh, our kids today have gotten too soft. And uh, we've got to stop coddling them and stop kind of giving them everything, uh, doing everything for them. And so, uh, so, you know, I have to agree, you know, that uh, to a degree uh, our kids today are spoiled, but... Um, and I know most of our listeners will, uh, will agree with that as well. Uh, I don't know if the kids will agree with it, but, uh, you know. But every generation says that the, the new generation is soft. So, so uh, what is your favorite class? Um, Besides gym, because that's what everybody <laughs> says, right? Um, I like the science um, that we're doing. Yep. Yeah, that's probably my favorite. Math is pretty good, too. Uh-huh. Math. I was yeah. never really a big math guy. Uh, never really big on math. You know, as a, as a history teacher, the only numbers I got to worry about are dates. <laughs> you know, if I can remember a few dates here and there, yeah. I'm all set. All right, so we're going to be coming out of the break in a, a couple, in a little bit. We've got a tie game right now, a tie match. Uh, in this best of five series. So we're at least going to go four games uh, as both teams have one win apiece. All right, so uh, Padovani getting her team to focus a little bit more. They kind of lost their focus early in that game, and they never really kind of were able to recover from it. 
All right, so uh, the Panthers will be serving to start this game. And, uh, as referee Chad Ramirez uh, takes a look at the uh, takes a look at the rosters and the substitution packages. All right, so to serve to start is Avery Barra. Barra's the setter today. Barra's been starting at the setter uh, the past few games. She has been splitting duty, and that's an ace for Avery. Um, as I said, Avery's been splitting the setting duty with Angel Deschamps, but Deschamps not here today, so... Uh, so it's all Avery all day. Another serve by Avery, and that one's going to be another ace. All right, that's a good start. We, we like to start the games with a couple of quick points. And the less work you have to do, the better. All right, so Avery Bearer to serve. That was another good serve, and that's another ace. Nice Ooh. ace. Yep, ball went out of bounds. All right, Barrow, three in a row. Another good serve. Had a little trouble. The set is going to run over there. That one's going to float over. They're in the right place. Moncara is in the right spot. Going over to again with another. I don't know. They're calling it a double hit on the set, so. Yeah. Well, no, that's a set, so they can do that. Um, it's just that uh, you can tell by the rotation on the ball if it's a double hit, pretty much. If it spins around sideways. All right, McGarrick will get into it. Barrett coming over the net. But now they didn't call that one a double hit. Oh, and no, oh, they're going to get the point to the generous. So, again, as I said, uh, we haven't really seen those kind of Double hit on the sets called that much this year, and so we're, we're starting to see it today anyway. Mm -hmm. All right, so General's down to point with the serve, low serve. Makara goes to get it, gets it over, and they're going to go deep, and that ball's in the net. All right, so unforced errors. That's really been the key to this uh, match so far. It has. All right, Alice Makara to serve with the 4-2 lead. Again, Alice, the exchange student from Milan, Italy. All right, Alice with the deep serve on that. And they're going to get a free ball. All right, and the ball's out. All right, good eye by McGarrigal. Good call by the sidelines there. Uh, bench right on top of it. 5-2, Alcaro to serve. Flynn with the swing, and they're right there to get it. And to shoot it out to, oops. Oh. Julia was thinking it was going to go somewhere else. She got spun around on the play. All right, so Panthers with the 5-3 lead right now. Generals to serve. And this is the third game of the best of five match. Okay, Barra going out to Caracolo, goes deep corner, nice kill. Nice kill. She took a little off of that, and I think they, they were kind of back on the heels expecting a harder swing on that. Sometimes it's not about power, it's just about being smart, playing smart. All right, Mulligan's in for uh, McGarrigal. Work Fabry to serve. Fabry with a nice deep serve right there, keeping them on their toes, not able to get a good swing. Another free ball. Fabry with the pass to Bearer. Going to Mulligan with the swing. They get a piece of it, but it's going to drop. And we get another switch. Another substitution. Garcia in for Manning. All right, so Bork Fabry to serve. The 7-3 lead for the Panthers. Get out to an early, quick lead. It's always helpful. Nice knuckleball going deep on it. Another free one coming over. Oh, nice. Flynn with the drop. They dig it up. Oh, they couldn't get to it. Ericola got to it, but she couldn't get enough height on her uh, dig. 
All right, McGarrigal back in for Fabry. All right, I, I didn't notice, but it looks like Emma Bakari's in the game. I didn't see that substitution happen. Bakari must be in for Nascimento. Oh, and she's going to shank that one. All right, so uh, Panthers still lead by two. Generals to serve, down five to seven. All right, Eric Cola with the pass to Barra. Barra's going to go back to, oh, he's going to go to Mulligan, who's going to drop it down. Another Katie kill. It's five kills on the day for uh, Kate. All right, so we've got Emma Bakiri, the Albanian assassin. To, uh, I'm sorry, the Albanian nightmare. <laughs> assassin nightmare, it's all the same. I suppose. She gets that serve, dropping that one down. And we're going to have another free ball. See what they can do with it. McGarrigal with the pass. So. All right, nice play by Malkar. That ball's going to come over. Nice play by Alice right there. Nice play. McGavin blocked that. They're going to drop that. Ericola getting to it. Barra getting it over to Malkar with the swing. Then drop it. Okay, another free ball coming over. All right. Mulligan with the pass to Barra. Calling for it, Mulligan. Is and she going to go deep? Oh, nice dig. Nice play by the Libero there. Another free ball coming over. Emma with the pass. Going over to Mulligan deep. Oh, nice swing by Kate off a tough set. All right, another. Oh, took a little bit off that. Used the tape and uh, dropped it in front of Kate pretty much. Point to Hamilton Wenham on that. All right, Panthers still with a two-point lead. All right, so now we've got... Uh, the freshman Flynn to serve. And, oh, and she's going to get the let. Ah, that's not how you plan it, but again, sometimes the best laid plans. And to quote the great philosopher Mike Tyson, everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the face. <laughs> All right, Panthers still with a one point lead. Lakara at the pass, Barra going out to Mulligan. Mulligan couldn't do much, but she drops it, rolls it over. All right, so the point goes to the Panthers on that. Panthers with a 9-7 lead. All right, Julia Ericola to serve. <coughs> Ericola serving with a 9-7 lead. And that's going to go out. Kind of got it off the side of her hand there. Didn't look so great. All right, so eight to nine. Hamilton went in to serve. Down a point. Panthers looking to get a side out here so they can get the serve back. See what they can do. All right. Agarigo. Ooh, that's a tough, tough one. She was a little, uh, she was a little too close. Let's try to go back. She couldn't get back in time enough. All right, it's a nine-nine game, all tied up. All right, generals to serve. All right, Ericola with the pass, going to Barra. Barra out to Melcara, and that ball is going to be deep and out. All right, so the generals take the lead for the first time this game. Generals lead 10 to nine. Makara with the pass to Barra. Barra gonna go to Mulligan. Nice swing by Kate. Oh, that is, come on, that's not a, all right, well, we get the point. It looked like two kind of carries on there. Ball kind of hanging on the hands. Brooke Fabry back in the game as McGarrigal comes out. 10 10 is the score. Kate Mulligan to serve. And she's into the net. All right, Kate getting aggressive on there, trying to get a good hard swing, but she puts it into the net. And Kate will come out for McGarrigal. Again, so for McGarrigal, the Libero who can come in at, for anyone pretty much at any time. Uh, but they do have to sit out for one rally at least. All right, so General's leading 11 to 10. Yeah, Nikki, do you plan on playing volleyball next year here at uh, Beverly High? I think so. It looks really fun. Julie's going to have to help me a little bit. But 
All right, so we get a rotation error. Rotation error on the Panthers there. Okay, so someone was just in the wrong spot. All right, so the Panthers give up a point on that play right there. All right, Makara to Barra. Barra going to get it back out to Makara, who's going to roll it over. All right. And we're going to get a chance at a swing. Flynn with the swing into the net. Two people right there. Now, she didn't leave her feet there. She came from the front. She couldn't leave her feet because she was uh, over the attack line, also known as the 10-foot line, although it's three meters uh, from the center there. So in the international game, they call it the three-meter line. Here in the U.S., they call it the 10-foot line. All right, so they're going to dig that one up. Yeah, free ball coming. Barra setters out. And husband, wife, both uh, players thinking the other is going to make the set. So that's tough. When the setter takes the first one, she can't make the set. Mm -hmm. So everybody's thinking, who's, you get it, I get it. All right, so Generals leading 13 to 11. Panthers looking to side out here. McGarrow go with the pass. Makara is going to come over. Okay. They're going to go tight set on that. They dig that one up. Oh, going on two on that one. All right, got to get up there and block that. Oh, Burke Fabry with the block. Oh, nice. They went into the net. Fabry went in the block anyway. I'm giving her the block. They called net on the other team, but I'm going to give her the block on that. And my stats, that goes down as a block. She hasn't had many opportunities to get blocks like that. All right, so it's a one-point game. Malcaro with the serve. Nice serve. And go. And they're going to drop. Nice dig. Oh, she was there. Emma was there. She just kind of mis mistimed it. It was a good cover, though. All right, so it's 14 to 12, Hamilton Wenham. You know, eventually Hamilton and Wenham need to just merge mm -hmm. and become one town. They can call a Hamilton him all they want, you know, something, but they share a lot of the services already. Mm -hmm. All right, Flynn with the swing, and that's down. Deep swing, nice swing by the freshman, Flynn. All right, so Hamilton Wenham, long name right there. It's a hyphenated name. Uh, serving out. All right, so now it's uh, 15 to 13. Kay Mulligan coming in for McGarrigal. Okay, going into the front row. She'll be the middle blocker now. All right, 13-15 with Brooke Fabry to serve. Nice serve by Fabry, came in around the toes. Flynn with the swing, and she gets blocked by Mulligan. Woo, my. Nice block. And what do we call that in uh, volleyball circles? Roof. Oh, That's yeah. why they do the roof. They're not booing anybody. They're saying <laughs> roof, Mickey. All right, 14-15, Fabry to serve. Nice serve. And they're not going to get a good swing off of this one. Another roll over. Oh, and nice save. Oh, it's good, good playable. No, nice hustle by Bakari there. All right, Emma laying out on that play. All right, got a substitution, a couple substitutions here. JD, a junior coming in as a blocker. S-Z-A-D-Y. I would imagine it's pronounced JD. Wonder if her nickname is Slim. Slim Shady. <laughs> She's the real <laughs> Slim Shady, I suppose. <laughs> going to swing to Aracola, dropping that one down. Okay, now they're going to come outside. Flynn with a little drop, and they got it covered. Bakary, nice play. Barra going to Mulligan with a low set. Nice swing by Kate off the low set. And that's going to be down for the point. Okay, Panthers 15. General 16. Aracola to serve. Oh, no, she's not. Okay, the Albanian nightmare. I'm a Bakiri going out to serve, but now, um, okay. Flying V, Vivian Nascimento in for Bakiri. 
it seems. Okay. So Nascimento is going to serve as Bakary comes out. Okay, Nascimento to serve down a point. That's a nice serve there. That ball's coming over. Oh, got to get up and block that, I think. And that ball's going to... Oh, another free ball. Nascimento with a pass to Barra. Barra to Mulligan with a big swing using the tape to her advantage. Up, oh, they dig that up. Let's see if that ball coming over. It's a free ball. McGarry go to Barra. The ball's going over, and they block it. Ooh. That's a tough one. They had a free ball there. All right, so General is serving 17-15. And the freshman, Flynn. Just drops that over. Pass by McGarrigal to Barra. Barra going in the back set to Mulligan. They'll get a piece of the block. And they can't get anything. We'll give her the kill on that one. It's kill number six for Kate. Katie kills. Some say speed kills. I say Katie kills. All right, now serving Julia Ericola. Down a point. Panthers can't break that one-point barrier. All right, Julia with the serve, pass. Going to the outside, they get the swing. Nice up, who got it? Ooh. Julia, Julia spends a lot of time down on the floor getting after the ball. She must just uh, take an ice bath when she gets home. 18-16 generals. Barra going out to Malkara, who cuts it down and over the block. Nice kill. So she takes a big swing, but she kind of slides it off her hand there. It's like a changeup. Mm -hmm. So the block goes up, the play of the back goes back, thinking it's going to be a hard one, and drops him over. All right, Kate Mulligan to serve. Down a point again. Like I said, the Panthers can't break that one-point barrier. Look at this. Tie it up here. Okay, going deep on the serve. That's going to be a tough one to play. Okay, got a free ball coming over. All right. Barrer to Malkara. Nice play. That ball's coming over. Got to get to it. Nascimento gets to it. Barrer going over to Malkara again. Ooh, Alice trying to do a little, little bit right there. All right, so we got a two-point game again. And so while the game's going on, on occasion, you know, we, we get some tweets back from viewers. And I uh, just want to shout out to Kim Trigilio, Beverly, uh, Beverly resident, whose son Thomas uh, hangs out with my son. She's watching the game on BevCam Live. So people are watching. All right, got another free ball coming this way. And Fabry with the pass. And that ball's going to go up. Uh, they're going to call that on Barrow. All right, it's a three-point game now for the Generals. Panthers got to side out here. Again, it's those unforced errors that are hurting them. Ooh, nice play again, Julia getting to the floor. Let's start calling her the mop. All right, Generals, another point there. All right, I was trying to come up with a nickname for Julia. Um, I think I got to figure it out now. She's the mop. All right, timeout Panthers uh, as they're down four points. And during this timeout, we're going to uh, get back into our literary uh, category. What are your favorite books, we asked the girls. Um, Liv Thomas jokingly said, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And then she said, no, no, that's just a joke. But I actually think she enjoys it. <laughs> but uh, she's actually been reading Stephen Hawking's Brief History of Time. It's a nice light read. So... Uh, let's see. Uh, also, uh, so uh, also we asked um, uh, Alice Melkara what her favorite was, uh, Las Rimas y Leyendas, which also uh, by uh, Gustavo Baquer, uh, which translated as to rhymes and legends, not to be confused with rhyming and stealing. Big hit by the uh, Beastie Boys back in the day. You know, anytime we can bring uh, the old school into a conversation, uh, we'll do so. Yeah. I'm a, a bit more of a Cool Mo D fan myself, but uh, 
Right now, Nikki's looking at me like I have no idea who <laughs> or what you're talking about. All right, so generals to serve 21-17. So you may have been wondering, what's the scenario? Uh, right now it's one-to-one. -one. That's another old-school reference for you, Nikki. I'll explain it to you later. Barra going over. There you go. Tribe Call Quest. Robert in the booth. He knows what I'm talking about. And they're going to drop that. Oh, nice play right there. Didn't have much to do. Get up there and just kind of dink it over. 22-17. Yes, that was... Uh, uh, what's the scenario? A song by Tribe Called Quest. Nikki, I recommend when you go home, you check out some old school. All right, I will. All right. Low end theory, yeah, that's right. Alcara at the swing. They're going to dig that up. They're going to get a chance. And, ooh, she plunks that one down. That was not, they didn't get the dig on that one. All right, 23 17 is the scenario right now. Panthers going to have to get the lead, uh, get the ball back if they want to. Get close to tying this thing back up. They're down six right now. They need a side out. And that ball is going to go over. They're going to go for the swing. A nice play by McGarrigal getting there. Seeing it coming. Melcaro with the swing using the net. All right, so another free ball coming over. Rolling it over. Fabry with the pass to Barra. Barra going over to Melcaro. She's the big swinger on the right side. Oh, they're going to dig that up. All right. And going to uh, Bakiri with that. Go oh, jeez. All right, uh, Burke trying to power dink that one, which puts it into the net. All right, we've got a 24-17 score right now. So this is a set point. Uh, Panthers, no room for error now. All right, uh, Brown to serve. Going to get that uh, over and that ball's into the antenna, and that's a game point right there, set point. And so Hamilton Wenham's going to take game three. So the Panthers got to get uh, the next one if they want to have a chance to win this. All right, so as well as they played that first one, they didn't play as well in that, uh, that last one right there. Uh, so uh, they didn't play, they really didn't play well in that second game. That third game was kind of yes and no. Both, uh, they, they, they got an early lead and then they, they squandered that. All right, so our cameraman Mark is saying, explain the double hit thing. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a ball, so I can't show you. Uh, so when you go to set the ball, so in, in, the, old, in the old days, when you set it, the ball couldn't have any rotation at all. So, you know, it comes out, it comes out, you know, you couldn't come too deep, couldn't come below your eyes. And then it had to come out like a knuckleball. But then they started to allow a little bit more rotation. So if it rotates end over end, right, they'll allow that. The sideways rotation means you kind of hit it, you double hit it. You didn't get both hands on it at the same time. So uh, maybe, maybe one of these days we'll, we'll get a ball. Yeah, well, maybe one of these days we'll, we'll get a ball, and during these breaks we'll kind of do a little bit of a uh, little thing uh, right there for the fans at home. Yeah. So, uh, all right, so uh, we got a little bit of time uh, between games here. Let's uh, get back to our literary favorites. Uh, Brooke Fabry says, uh, The Hate You Give uh, is uh, her favorite book. Okay. So... I'm not familiar with that one. Uh, I couldn't tell you anything about it. But, uh, <laughs> that's a movie, I'm told. All right, so, so far it looks like a lot of these kids are liking books that have been turned into movies. Yes. So, you know, which leads you to believe that maybe they're just saying, oh, yeah, great book, but they actually went and watched the movies. I'd like to see one of them watch the Disney version of uh, The Hunchback of Notre Dame uh, because, uh, spoiler alert here, the ending's a little bit different than the book. <laughs> Quasimodo dies. Which, if I had time, I'd tell you a joke about that. But uh, maybe uh, next, uh, if, if, if the Panthers can win the next game, then I'll tell you a joke having to do with the Hunchback of Notre Dame. All right, so uh, Sophie McGarrigal, uh, she's, she says she's been reading uh, Sun Tzu's Art of War and Plato's Republic uh, both at the same time. Uh, she, with her left eye, she reads uh, Art of War. With her right eye, she reads Plato's Republic. Uh, the Out of War, it's always a good uh, good read. I have the pocket version uh, carried around with me everywhere I go, although I don't have it with me today. <laughs> so, 
All right, uh, Kate Mulligan uh, says she's been reading Dale Carnegie's uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Um, and uh, Keisha Santiago is reading a book by uh, my spiritual advisor, Otis Raheem Levon Chandelier, uh, Peace in a Time of War. All right, so we got game four. Panthers down two to one now to Hamilton Wenham. All right, so uh, we're going to see, starting out, we got a little high five thing going there by Eric Cole and Fabry. Got a little dancing going on there by uh, Manning for Hamilton Wenham. Now McGarrigal going to come in for probably Kate, I think. I don't know, let's see what happens. All right, so uh, the two captains switching sides, sw switching spots. McGarrigal in for Mulligan. Again, McGarrigal and Mulligan sounds like a South, uh, South Boston law firm. All right, so uh, Hamilton went in with the serve to start. Panthers got to get a side out here and get off to a quick start. All right, Makara with the pass. Barra going outside. Oh, we got a new uh, new player in the game. Uh, Rory. All right, so we're, we're asking, uh, we know her, her first name's Rory. I can't remember her last name, so. Uh, Rory Harmon. Okay, thank you, thank you. She, uh, she got called up from the JV squad. So Rory's getting a chance to take some swings. And they got the point off of the swing that she took, so good good job for her. Great job. Okay, Malcara to serve. Sorry about that, Rory and her family. Uh -huh. And we didn't get a chance to ask Rory about her favorite books, but I'm pretty sure it's a good one. That's a put down right there by Wosibuka, or however you pronounce that name. <laughs> you know, I wrote it down, but I, uh, I'm having trouble reading my own handwriting. But you know, I hear uh, bad penmanship is a sign of genius. <laughs> what was that go? All right, that, a little bit of net on that. Just grazed the net and uh, made it difficult for McGarrigal to get to. All right, so the Generals are up 2-1 to one now. Panthers looking to side out here so they can get the ball back so they can start doing something. Another one dropping in front of McGarrigal. That's a tough serve. She's not really swinging hard, but you have to you have to respect that she can go deep with it. All right, that one's playable. McCarra, it's a bearer. Bearer going outside to Eric Kohler. Eric Kohler going deep with it. General's not going to get a good swing as they roll it over. McCarrigal covering a lot of ground right there. Harmon with the pass over, and that goes into the net. All right, so the General's up 4-1. to one. All right, the Panthers got to get their act together if they want to keep this uh, match going. All right, Eric Cole with the pass. Maharman digging it up. Okay, McGarrigal floating it over. Jones got to get a chance for a swing to Flynn. Flynn going deep and out. All right, I think that one might have been called by Beverly, uh, to tell you the truth. Um, Chad Ramirez is the uh, referee down the sideline. He's a little slow to turn his head a little bit. All right, so the Panthers got it back. Fabry to serve down two points right now. Fabry going into the net with that one. The toss on that looked a little bit off, and she's going to come out, and McGarrigal is going to go in for her. All right, so <coughs> General's serving with a 5-2 to two lead right now. All right, Day in for Brown. Day with the serve. McGarrigo with the pass to Barra. Barra going to go over to Ericola. Ericola slicing that across the side. All right, Flynn with the swing. That ball is blocked by Kate. And they gave Kate the block on that one. Mulligan uh, with the block getting up there, and that's her job as the middle hitter. 
Also the middle blocker. All right, so Rory Harmon, sophomore, and they're playing in her first varsity game. With uh, Spidell out, they bring her up, and she's going to get the serve. Nice serve. All right, they're going to get a chance to swing, but they're not going to get a big swing. Oh, Kate had a piece of it, but nobody was there to pick it up from her. All right, so Kate made a nice block on that. Had a chance to get it, but uh, I think everybody was kind of watching it. I think Harmon coming up uh, may not have gotten to it. Uh, again, you know, her first her first game in, you know, a little ex inexperienced. And Eric Cola getting that over. Bearer can't get it over the net. All right, seven to three now. Hamilton Wenham with a four point lead. All right, so the, the Panthers won the first one. They've dropped the last two. They've got to win this one to keep it going. Tough serve right there. Ericola can't get to it. Julia the Mop Ericola. All right, I'm going to get a timeout from Coach Pam Padovani. During this timeout, we're going to take a look at what some of the other kids are reading nowadays. One of the, some of the other ladies, I should say. Everybody, pretty much anybody who's younger than me is a kid, so please don't get offended if I call someone a kid or girls, they're younger than me, so they're just, and I'm getting to a point where a lot, there are a lot more people that are younger than me than are older than me, so. Um, let's see, uh, where are we? Oh, Ella Spidell, uh, reading Fear by Bob Woodward. Uh, trying to see what's going on in the Trump White House. We try to stay a little uh, apolitical here on this show. Uh, and it's, which is very tough in today's day and age. I know a lot of people were watching the uh, hearings yesterday, and you know whether you, whether you like the president, whether you don't, I think you ended up coming out of there pretty angry over something. And uh, same thing with what you thought about Brett Kavanaugh. All right. So uh, also Julia Ericola is reading, Julia the Mop Ericola is reading the Federalist Papers, all of them. Uh, American history buff, I guess. All right, so uh, eight to three now. Flynn with the serve, Ericola with the pass. The bearer going out to Ericola. Nice swing by Julia. And go with the swing with the drop. Ericola with the play. Barra going to Mulligan. Mulligan with the drop. Can't get it over the net. All right, Kate showing her frustration with herself. And while we're at it, we might as well uh, let you know that tomorrow we'll be streaming the uh, football game from Hurd Stadium. Beverly High School taking on the Magicians of Marblehead at 1 p.m. All right, Kate with the swing, and they're going to dig that one up. And outside swing, Kate getting the block on it, but it's coming down on her side. Not 10 to 3 now, uh, the Generals. Generals now starting to play a little bit like we expected to see them play. Not making as many errors, forcing uh, forcing Beverly to uh, make the errors. All right, Malkara with the pass. Okay, Ericola to Malkara, Malkara to swing. All right, we're gonna see a ball coming over now. Okay, Mulligan going to Barra, Barra to Mulligan. Mulligan with the swing. Into the net, you got a piece of the net, and then rolling it over, and that's a campfire as we see three people watch the ball hit the floor. All right, so the Panthers got to get their act together here. Down eight points now. All right, Flynn, the freshman, serving now. And she's going to put that one into the net. All right, so the Panthers catch a break there. So as we were saying, uh, Beverly's taking on the headers of Marblehead. Notice I right there, I said the Magicians first and then the headers. I think the official name is the Magicians, but for some reason they go with two names. Marblehead's a pretty good team, but I think the Panthers got a chance to uh, to surprise them tomorrow. All right, so uh, we're going to see a swing there. They dig it up, Makari over to Bear, Bear to Mulligan, going deep corner. Kate with a kill. Another kill for Kate Mulligan. That's her seventh kill of the match. All right, Julia Aricola looking to get the Panthers back into it here. Down six points, 11 to five right now. And that ball's gonna go out. 
All right, so you giveth and you taketh away. All right, 12 to 5 with the Generals leading. All right, the pass over to Barra. Barra going to Melcara with the swing. Good swing. They dig her up, though. That ball's going to come over. Barra put, pumping it over. And right, she gets it. That ball's up, and she's over the net on that, so we're going to give her the kill on that. That's her second kill as a setter today. While we're at it, I want to say hi to uh, one of Beverly High uh, Volleyball's biggest fans, Jared McKay. He, uh, he actually replied on our YouTube channel about uh, something. So, uh, hey, Jared, how we doing? All right, nice serve. Ball coming right back over. Mulligan getting it to Barra. Barra going to the middle to Fabry, who gets blocked. They dig it up. All right, the ball's coming out and out, out of bounds. All right, so we got a five. We got ourselves a five-point game now. All right, so Kate Mulligan to serve. Panthers down five. Okay, with a good serve there. We're going to dig that up. Let's see if they can do that. I could not do much with it. Three, and that ball's out. All right, point to the Panthers. Panthers down four now. All right, Mulligan to serve. And before that, we're going to get a substitution. All right. So not a ton of height. Uh, up front by, for either of these teams right now, so someone should be able to take advantage of a lack of blocking. That ball's coming into the net, and that's down. All right, Mulligan getting the point for them. All right, we're going to get a timeout by Hamilton Wenham here as Mulligan gets them to within three points. Now, I think right now what Coach Padovani is saying, okay, keep your energy up, but stay focused. Keep an even keel. Don't let your emotions get ahead of you. Or at least that's what I'd be saying right now. She could be saying something completely different. She could be saying, hey, you know, I'm ordering pizza tonight. What do you guys <laughs> think I should get? Which also kind of can be helpful to loosen things up, you know, come in with a joke. Candlesticks are a nice gift. Some people will get that joke. I'll, I'll, I'll explain it to you later. <laughs> All right, so I um, also want to give a shout-out to a good friend of mine uh, who I used to do some broadcasting with back in the day. Pookie Schlobotnik, who uh, helped uh, produce a t television show back in the 90s with me. Uh, so, he's a, he's a good man. Very good man. Very creative individual. All right, so the Panthers down by three points right now, looking to tie things up. Well, after they get two points, so then they'll be looking to tie things up. All right, Kate Mulligan to serve. Senior Captain Mulligan going with the deep serve. And that's going to be an ace. Ace for Kate right there. All right. 10 to 12. We're going to see Hamilton Wenham with the substitution. Bringing in Manning to play the front row. To man the front row. <laughs> get it? Yeah, I get it. Thank you. Thank you for laughing at my jokes. Man. <laughs> All right. Another nice serve. Flynn digs it up, though. All right. And we're going to see an attack there. And they're going to dig it up. The mop with the play. All right, Malkara going deep on that one, putting him on the heels. And hey, we're going to see a free ball coming over. All right, Kate with the pass, going to Barra. Barra going middle to Fabry. Fabry with the drop shot there. And we're going to see a double hit right there. So that one, that's kind of a, a double hit on the set. Finally seen it called the other way. Avery Barra kind of looking, saying, okay, thank you. It's not just me. <laughs> All right, so it's a one-point game. Now they're looking to tie it up. Yes. Well, again, looking to tie things up. Now. Nice serve. Nice, uh, nice pass by Flynn there. And they're going to pop that over. And Mokara right there. Oh, she missed that. Oh, Bray Fabry with the block. Woo. All right, so the time, the jump was missed time, but it looked like it was going to be a tough play for the Panthers. But Fabry just put it right back down. All right, we got ourselves a 12-12 game now. All right, it's all even up. Might as well just put the score back to zero. Okay, Mulligan to serve. Nice serve. Nice tough serve. All right, they're going to get a chance to for an attack. That ball's going to go out. All right. We call that a double. Okay. Oh, they blew that whistle kind of early, I thought. But the ball was out. We called it up. 
All right, so the Panthers got the lead for the first time this game, up 13 to 12. Nice serve. Kids getting the serves, and that's going to be a tough play right there. And that's an ace. All right. Okay, with a nice, tough serve. Case not holding back. You know, sometimes when you get to a point like this, people start, like, trying to take it easy, play a little cautious, but they're not going cautious here. Case just gets swinging like she normally does. Another nice one. That ball's down. That was down. 15 to 12 now. Mulligan going on a six-point run here. Six or seven-point run. Nikki, you're supposed to do the math for me on these. <laughs> All right, Kate Mulligan to serve 15 to 12 as uh, Hamilton went and makes a substitution. All right. Mulligan to serve. Oh, nice serve. And that's going to be a tough another ace. Woo. My. All right, this is what uh, this is what she's here for. It's a, it's a little bit of leadership, we're saying. And we got a timeout for uh, Hamilton. One, I'm calling timeout. Coach has seen enough. All right, yeah, see a little bit of uh, a little talking back to the coach. It almost looked like I don't know, but uh, all right. So now Padovan is just gonna say, hey, good job, good job, keep doing what you're doing. All right, we're seeing all kinds of high fives and uh, all kinds of stuff going on there. All right, so again, don't forget uh, tomorrow night, Beverly, uh, tomorrow afternoon, the Beverly Panthers will be taking on the Magicians of Marblehead at 1 p.m. at Hurt Stadium. If you don't feel like going and watching uh, outside, you can always stay home and watch the game live streaming on BevCam. As we always do with the uh, football games. All right, so the Panthers with the 16 to 12 lead now behind the stellar serving of Kate Mulligan, Captain Kate, Incredible Hulk. She's got all kinds of nicknames. All right, Mulligan to serve as soon as the referees are ready. Referee Chad Ramirez uh, taking his time getting back over while the substitution goes on. And the other referee, George McDonald, just saying, come on, kid. I'm, I'm, you know, you should be able to move quicker. All right, so Mulligan to serve with a 16 to 12 lead. Good serve right there. Okay. Generals with a chance to do something, but not in a pure attack. Barra going out to Malkara. Malkara with a roll swing. All right, and we're going to see another free ball coming over. Malkara with the pass to Barra. She's calling for it. Going back out to Malkara. Oh, and she swings and she tools the block. That's a kill for Malkara. All right, call, man, call Craftsman because she just tooled him on that play. All right, Kate serve with a 17-12 lead now. And she gets the left. Oh, she digs that up. Oh, and it's going to be a free ball. All right, pass. Going to go to Barrow. Tough pass. Oh, well. That was a nice job by Hamilton. One. That ball looked like it was going to drop, but they got to it. They mm -hmm. dug that up. I think that was the freshman, Flynn, again. Got a bright future out of herself. Okay, and as the girls getting ready to serve, uh, they kind of roll the ball in the middle of the court because there's nobody over there. All right, 17 13. Panthers have a lead. And low serve. Oh, short serve. Looked like everybody was back a little too far on that one. It's a good spot. You can see there's that little hole right there. Now Ericola steps up so she can dig that one up. My guess is she'll still st still end up on the floor, though, Nikki. All right. McGarrigal passing to Barra. Barra going up to Melkara, who's going to punch it over. Ooh, that was a bit of a deep dish on that one. Okay, so the pass set. Melkara with a roll. Couldn't do much with that set. All right. Ball coming over. McGarrow go with the pass. Barrett going to get it. And that's going to be a tight one. Ooh, they, they, Hamilton actually helped her out on that one, I think. I didn't think that ball was going to make it over. And the swing. They dig it up, and they got it. Good. Oh, McGarrow with a nice play, and they get the point. 
Montero with another kill. Whew. I tell you, I, to me, that ball looked like it wasn't going to make it over in the net, but Hamilton reached over, touched it, which gave them another three hits. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, you can be a little over-aggressive, right? All right, Barra with the serve. Ooh, she almost stepped on the line there. I think they might have given her a break. All right, going to the middle, going outside. They get the swing. Malkari digging it up. Fabry with the pass to the set to Malkari. Malkari with the swing going over. All right, going to get up and block that. She's going to drop that. Oh, nice play. That's a nice play right there. Take advantage of the single blocker. All right, Hamilton went him down 15-18 right now. Panthers looking to get the ball back. Panthers can side out. I think they do have a chance to get a good serve. All right. Pass. Mokara the pass to Barra. Barra going to Fabry. Fabry going deep, and the ball's going to go out. All right. It's a two-point game now. Ooh, tough serve. Couldn't get to that one. That was a nice serve. Nice hard serve right there. You could kind of see it in her eyes. She was kind of looking down that line. All right. Barra passing. Barra couldn't make the pass. Goes over, knocking down water bottles and everything over there. All right, we've got ourselves an 18 18 game. Hey, again, it's anyone's ball game now. McGarra go with the pass to Barra. Barra going to Fabry. Fabry with the swing. All right, Hamilton went with a chance to swing. Oh, Fabry with the block. Flynn with the swing. The pass. Set by Barra to McGarra. She can't get the ball over. She can't get it over. All right. It was a good idea looking for a little drop there, but she couldn't make the play. All right, so it's a one-point game now. Rory Harmon still in the game. And, ooh, that ball's out. He's out. Ooh, caught a break on that one. McGarrigal mishandled that one. But it just kind of knuckled and sailed over. All right, we got ourselves a 19-19 game. Alice Makara to serve. Makara with the serve. A chance to get the ball out to Flynn. Flynn with the swing. She's going to drop it. They beat that up. And again, it's still good. It's good. All right, so we're going to see a free ball coming over. Makara with the pass. Barra going over to Ericola. Ericola dropping it. Okay, Hamilton Wenham looking to get a swing from Flynn. Flynn with the swing. Digs it up. Oh, they can't get it. All right, so it's a one-point game now. Hamilton Wenham leading 20 to 19. All right, serve coming over. Malkar with the pass goes out of bounds. All right, 21-19 now. 21-19. Generals to serve. Panthers looking to side out here. And that's in the net. And they don't need to side out when you serve it into the net. Well, I guess technically that is a side out. <laughs> All right, so Brooke Fabry to serve. Down a point, 21-20. All right. Fabry to serve. All right, we're going to see a free ball coming over now. Panthers got to do something with this. Fabry with a nice pass to Barra. Barra going out to Harmon. Harmon with the swing. Are they going to get a chance? Double block. And she swings right through the double block. All right, so it's a 22-20 game. Fabry comes out. McGarrigal in. All right, so Panthers down two points. Got to get this thing back if they want to keep this thing going. That ball's going to be out. All right, Hamilton Wenham uh, keeping the Panthers in this one. Okay, Rory Harmon in her first game as a varsity player, the sophomore, Rory Harmon to serve. Harmon dropping that one down. 
Hey, he mishandled that. Oh, nice set, though. And that ball's going to go. Oh, I think that ball was going to drop. They couldn't have let that come down. I think that ball was going to be in. And we got a timeout by the Panthers. 23-21 right now as we go into a timeout. All right, so, uh, Nikki, what, what do you think, uh, what do the Panthers have to do to get this thing back? they just got to be smart with their passes and call it. Get a Com call. Communication, right? Yes, communication. I think that has been one of the problems. They, they don't talk enough out there. Everybody yes. should be talking, and they, they, on occasion, have been a little quiet. Mm -hmm. Speaking of quiet, I, I would say that uh, this crowd's pretty good today. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not a huge crowd, but uh, it's pretty loud. Um, I will say the uh, JV players next to us are doing a great job of uh, cheering for the uh, varsity team. Uh, so, all right, so uh, Panthers down two points. They have very little margin of error. They got to get the ball back in. They got to get a side out, and then they got to make a run on a couple of serves. Yep. Coming in. Coming into this game, uh, I think they were thinking Hamilton Hamilton went and was going to be a tough team, but I, th I think the Panthers have stayed with them for the most they part. They have. All right, 23-21. Okay, pass by Harmon to Barra. Barra going outside to Eric Kohler, who's into the net. All right, so we've got 24-21. to 21. No margin of error now. Panthers have to side out. They have to get the side out here. And the freshman Flynn to serve. All right, and they mishandle it, and Hamilton Wenham's gonna take the match. All right, so the Panthers, uh, they, they, ha they hang with the team uh, that they were expecting to be very tough. Uh, Hamilton Wyndham's got one of the better programs in the area. Uh, so, you know, they can't really hang their heads too da too low on that one. Obviously, you can't be happy with the loss. But, uh, but you know, they, they played the, they played Hamilton Wyndham tough. Mm -hmm. um, they end up going down 3-1. to one. So that will put uh, the Panthers uh, to a record of 3-6 and six overall. Um, so now they've got an even smaller margin of error if they're going to try to get to the tournament. All right, Hamilton Wenham will improve to six and three overall. Uh, and so now the, uh, the Panthers will have to come back next week and uh, hope to get a couple of wins next week uh, to keep things rolling along. Uh, okay, so, uh, you know, when we take a look, uh, look at the stats for the day, uh, Kate Mulligan had seven kills and four aces. So Kate played a, a heck of a game. Um, Alice Melkara uh, had four kills, and she uh, was digging up an awful lot uh, defensively out there. Uh, and we saw Rory Harmon get her first opportunity to play in a varsity game. Rory's only a sophomore. She got called up from the JV squad. Uh, and so uh, she came in, probably got added to the squad with uh, both with the absence of two players today. Uh, they brought her up, and she got, a, she got in and played in two games. So... Um, you know, with Rory getting in there, that's, uh, you know, the future. And, you know, she's a sophomore, and you get a bunch of juniors, so the future is actually looking pretty good uh, next year. But, you know, the Panthers have a lot to play left. Uh, and they're not clearly not out of the tournament scenario anytime soon. So they're just going to have to put some stuff together and get everything together. Uh, so uh, next week uh, we'll have to see whether the Panthers can uh, get back on track, pick up a couple wins. They get some uh, winnable games next week. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the schedule in front of me, so I can't tell you when the next game is. Okay, so we got Malden on Tuesday. Okay, and so uh, we'll be against Malden on Tuesday at home. We will be streaming that one on BevCam. Uh, we'll see you. Nikki's more than welcome to come back and join us if we need. We, we can fill the booth with all kinds of uh, guest announcers if we need to. Uh, so Malden uh, on Tuesday, so uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a winnable game. And then uh, Winthrop, uh, the girls going to have to take a trip way out to Winthrop, which, again, as I said before, is the worst trip to have to go make uh, in the conference. Uh, there's no easy way to get there. The traffic's just ridiculous. Um, 
And unfortunately, we won't be streaming that one for you because it's an away game. But, so next Tuesday, we will be streaming. Uh, be sure to keep track and watch everything. Uh, watch BevCam. And if you want to watch this one again, we'll be on YouTube on BevCam Sports Network channel. Uh, so, uh, so we'll be saying good night tonight. Uh, thank you for watching once again. And, uh, Nikki, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having uh, it me. Was, it was a pleasure having you in the booth with us today. So uh, the Panthers go down 3-1, to one, lose to Hamilton Wenham. And that's all for tonight, folks. Good night. <laughs>